Bless you, daughters of Zion. Because I've had so many requests for the Passover bread recipe, I wanted to share it with one and all that may be interested. And you can pass this along to your sisters, your friends, your neighbors that do the observation of Passover. My recipe is a very, very simple recipe. You need one cup of flour, unbleached flour, whole wheat, it matters not, one stick of butter. It needs to be butter. It can be salt-free or it can be salted, matters not. You need a fourth of a cup of iced cold water and a, just a pinch of salt, and that's optional too. You blend your flour and stick of butter together until it's crumbly, and uh, then you begin to sprinkle your fourth of a cup of ice water over it, and you blend that with a fork until it collects together and forms a ball, and then you proceed like you would like with a pie crust to roll it out, trim it up if you choose to, cook it in whatever kind of pan you have available, like a jelly roll pan, even a pie pan, uh, whatever you have convenient, and get it rolled out real nice and thin. Bake it at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes according to your oven until it's a nice light brown or brown to your own specs, and that's all there is to it. If you need to add a little bit more water, don't, don't hesitate to do so. If you need to add a little bit more flour, because flour has changed in the last year or two, and what I grew up using is not what we do now. So if you've been cooking for a while, you'll know how to make the adjustments. And if I can help you further, don't hesitate to call. All right. Thank you, Granny. Shalom. Shalom.